Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and we sadly have two songs left. We have this song and Stand Tall. And I gotta say, I, I'm bummed and I'm pumped for them. To, bummed and pumped at the same time, if that's possible. I'm bummed that this first season's coming to an end of, of the tracks. But pumped that apparently there's gonna be a second season. I think I've read somewhere. Don't quote me on that, but I thought I read it somewhere. That being said, that is more content that we have here on the channel, so I'm pumped to do that. I'm pumped to, to see what else is there. Definitely send your requests for what you want to see more of, if, whether it be on, send me a text, uh, regular text, depending on your location, or uh, WhatsApp text if you're international. You could also send me a DM or comment right here on the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto, by the way. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. If you want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen. And let's see what we got. This is You Got Nothing to Lose. Uh, we're going to do the Netflix. Well, this is the soundtrack versus Netflix version comparison. Nice reverb going on there. Really, this kind of gives me a, a, a bit of a feel of which one was it. I think was it. I think it was All Eyes. No, the other side of Hollywood, which would make sense because it's the same singer actually, the Cheyenne Jackson, giving that same kind of like. I, I want to say 1950s kind of just like dun 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 da da dun da da dun, dun dun. You know, you, you I could sw see the people swinging in it. You know, just classic 1950s style music. You know you wanna take a chance. Even the uh, the way the vocals are produced with the the, the harmony, like not, not the harmonies, but well the harmonies, yes, but more so the the slapback echo going on in there is very classic. Hold a sec, let me see something. Almost sounds like they say on the harmonies edge of great, but. Not really, but it kind of sounds like it. Wow, nice grit. That bass, it um bum 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 bum. That you can't refuse. Dude, listen to the bass right there. That is cool. The staccato bass, the bum 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 bum. Really cool. Can you hear the slapback echo giving that very classic older style, like very classic to this 50s, 60s, and even some 70s music. It's just a very distinct way of recording. You can almost picture that like like hanging down microphone or that it's a Shure SM. Let me see if I can find it in two seconds. Sure, old Shure microphone is the uh, Shure, here it is, the Shure 55SH classic. Uh, or yeah, 55SH is that classic. I can show you on my screen right now really quick actually. 55 SH, you've seen this th a thousand times before, this old announcer microphone right here. Like, we've all seen that thing. Like, I could picture him singing with that kind of microphone. Obviously, this is a modern version of it because you could buy them today still, uh, but they have that classic look to them. It's just that classic. You could sounds like he's singing through that. I mean, I don't know exactly what he's singing through, but it has that feel like he's singing through that. I'll take you higher than you've ever been. Nice grit in there. Nice shaker going on there. So what we got right there is something called syncopation, and what that is is like so you have the bum bum, but then you also have emphasizing the upbeat bum 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 bum. That kind of like I don't know why I took deep breaths right there, but like that that whole bum 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 is that whole is that whole syncopated kind of thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and emphasizing really far on not only the eighth note but on the upbeat of the eighth note. One and two and three and four syncopation. Show me what you got. Got it. 
the heist. Come on. So that bass is. Walk. That's called what? Right. You're teaching right now. It's called a walking bass. The bum 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 bum. That's cool, the vocals are matching the guitar right there. That guitar solo is sweet, man. Killing it. That's called scat singing right there. Is with like very often I oh, I think it would be jazz music or blues music. Well regardless, scat a ski ba dee boo da ba dee ba doop. That's all scat singing. Dude, this guy is crazy. That guitar in there sounds fantastic, man. Really nice guitar. Really nice going on with that. That uh, what's it called? Um, the what am I taking? The bait. What is it? The Guitar echo is sick in there. Listen to the guitar. Oh, the guitar is also matching the, the bass right there on that bum 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 that minor walk up boom 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 almost chromatic style walk up. That's insanity, man. That's crazy that he's able to hit those voices. So we're going to go straight into the Netflix version. But I'm looking on YouTube right now. We have three different versions, obviously. But, but the, the Paul Becker channel has actually the one that seems to have the best one. So hopefully it lets me uh, play this. No other. Because this one, all the other ones had like 75 or 30,000 views. This one has fi uh, almost 500,000 views. So let's see what we got. Oh, sh sh do you hear that? They're waiting for you. <laughs> that one looked like it hurt. Now, let me remind you. You don't know if playing the Orpheum is your unfinished business. Do you really have time to make that mistake? I suggest you accept my offer because the clock is ticking. <laughs> Ouch. You know where to find me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back! Hello, hello, hello. So it's cool how they kind of have that almost background style music. It comes in as like a background feel. It's kind of in, it just like lower and kind of low pass filtered. Like you don't hear all the highs because it sounds like it's coming through the end uh, or, or through a wall or something like that or through like you're not right there. So that's kind of cool. And then some sort of ducking like they're, when they speak and then when they, it's going to probably assume it's going to get louder. The vocal grit this guy has is crazy. The way he does, does those growls. The staccato dun 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 dun, creating that tension right there. Oh, that was cool how he turns inside the shell of the feathers. That was actually pretty wild. It's nice you can hear that right there when you show me what you got. You can hear that like natural reverb, like kind of slap back echo kind of feel. I like how you can hear the, the stereo going on with the uh, the uh, the crowd in there. Yeah, 
Alex, you can see yeah, Alex left and right here. Nice. I like how you can hear the upper frequencies of that that the bass going on in there. Guitar is sick, man. That tone on the guitar, that riff. Hammer and pull off right there. Actually, it's a bend pull down. Bend pull down. Gassing is killer, man. His voice is insane. I gotta say, though, I'm not noticing any difference between the two versions, and maybe in the actual Netflix version, but this is the this is the Paul Becker channel. I don't know if I notice any difference. That's crazy. The vibrato in that at the end, man, it's so wild. Like the fact that he's able to go, hit those high notes and also go down and hit those low notes is wild. Nice. Nice. You can hear the panning on those toms. It just ends like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is pretty sticking hysterical. Um, uh, it was pretty cool, man. The guy's voice is insane. Uh, the solos were really cool. Uh, but they, uh, the acting that they did was actually pretty impressive. The fact that like they don't... Uh, they did like they, they didn't look like they wanted to be there while they were still playing the drums and stuff. Like it, I, it was very cool, man. I definitely I have no idea what's going on contextually, obviously, <laughs> because I haven't seen the show yet. But I kind of wanted to finish the rest of the songs before I finish it, just so I can see like have a general idea, uh, but also not ruin the songs too. So I figured I made it this far. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of today. God bless. Peace out. Smash the subscribe button. Check out my music if you want to join.